Hey guys, welcome to the next video on Python unit testing tutorials for beginners using PyTest. Now in this video, I'm going to show you how you can run your tests which you have written using PyTest inside your PyCharm IDE. So till now, we have been running our tests which we have written using PyTest on the command prompt or the terminal. But using PyCharm IDE also, we can run these tests inside the PyCharm IDE. So let's see how we can run those tests which we have written using PyTest using the PyCharm IDE. So as you can see here on the left hand side, I have a class and on the right hand side, I have written some tests which are related to this class. Now I want to run these tests which I have written here using the PyTest inside the PyCharm IDE. So for doing this, what I need to do is, first of all, I need to install PyTest package inside the PyCharm IDE. So you can see here, when I try to import PyTest inside the PyCharm IDE, first of all, it will give me this red squiggly line, which means that PyCharm is not recognizing this PyTest package Till now so let's first of all install this package so just click on file and then click on settings and then go to the section which says project and then your project name so project colon project name so I'm going to click on this and then go to the project interpreter now as you can see here there are some packages which are already here and we want to install a new package which is PyTest so I'm going to click on this uh, install or this plus icon here and then I will just search for PyTest and the first option you will see here is PyTest and you can see this will be the version which will be installed on our PyCharm IDE. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just click on this button. Let me just move it a little bit above so you can see this button. So I'm going to click on this install package button which is going to install PyTest package inside my PyCharm IDE. And once this PyTest package is installed, you will see this message which says package PyTest installed successfully with the green highlighted text. That means PyTest is installed. So you can close this window. So I'm going to close this window and you will be able to see this PyTest now is added to your project interpreter. So now, when I click on OK and I will wait for some time till this process is, has been finished and then after some time you will see this red squiggly line under this PyTest is gone. So now our PyCharm IDE recognizes this PyTest package and now we want to tell the PyCharm IDE that we want to run the PyTests. So for doing that, once again I will click on File and then go to the settings and then this time I will go to the tools. So just click on tools option and when you scroll down you will be able to see this option which says Python integrated tools. So just click on this and on the right hand side you will be able to see under testing that default test runner by default is unit tests. So we need to change this to PyTest. Okay. So just change this default test runner to PyTest and then apply and then click OK, which is going to tell PyCharm IDE that we want to run the PyTests. Now, as soon as you are finished with the setting of PyTest on your PyCharm IDE, what you can do now is you can right click on the file where you want to run PyTest. So this is my test underscore math underscore func.py file where all my tests are there. So just right click on this file and then you will be able to see this option which says run PyTest in the file you want to run the PyTest. So just click on this option which says run PyTest in the file and as soon as you do this you will be able to see this window which is for the PyTest and you will be able to see all the tests which have been passed on the left hand side 
and the terminal output on the right hand side so let me just maximize this uh, window here and on the right hand side you will be able to see uh, the output so we have run the test on this file and because i have some uh, output which is a print output as you can see here print statement here which is responsible for printing uh, this line and also i have this print statement for tear down so this tear down is printed using this print statement also you will be able to see two dots here which means we have two tests inside this file which ran successfully so let's add this verbose flag inside our pytest using pycharm ide so once you ran your pytest using pycharm ide you will be able to see this drop down menu here which says pytest in whatever file you are running your pytest on and just click on this file you will be able to see this edit configuration option right away after first run of your test so just click on this option which says edit configuration and then you can add the arguments which are additional arguments like verbose or hyphen s or whatever option you want to provide here using this additional arguments option so let's say i want to provide this hyphen v option which is for verbose and then i will say apply and then i will say okay and then i'm going to run the test once again either clicking on this button or right away from this button so let me click on this button and once you ran your test you will be able to see the verbose output on the right hand side let me just remove these print statements because they are just uh, not looking good on the tests so i'm going to just remove the setup and the tear down print, print statements from here and i'm going to run the tests once again and then you will be able to see the correct verbose output here now if you want to see all these tests which are passed or failed on the left hand side using these green or red circles then you can click on this green circle at the top here so once click on this green circle and you will be able to see the list of all tests which are there inside your file so this is the script name which is test underscore math underscore funk and these are the two tests which are there inside this uh, test script so you can see the first test is test code data which is this one and the second test is test mark data which is the second test here you can also run these tests individually so you can right click and then you can just say run test which is going to run only one test which you want to run so once you ran this only one test you will be able to see on the top that only this test has been running so in order to run the whole uh, python script for the test you can uh, once again select this option which is pytest in whatever test script you have so just choose that and then run it once again and it will run your all the test once again and you will be able to see all the tests here so in order to run individual tests you can just right click and then run those tests but remember that you need to change this option again from here also if you want to run the test by just hovering over the test so this is the test let's say i want to run only this test so you can just hover over this test and then right click and then uh, just click on uh, this option run pi test for this test which is going to run only that test so once again i'm going to select this option for the whole file which is going to run all the tests once again for the pi test using pycharm ide so this is how you can run your tests which you have written using pytest using pycharm ide i hope you have enjoyed this video and i will see you in the next video